What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. And, uh, you know, a couple days ago, the legend FBG Cash was laid to rest. Some of the blogs and died down, you know, they didn't kind of let life kind of go on and shit like that. Um, you know, people been asking me a lot of questions lately about him. I kind of want to say this, though, you know, because a lot of people been asking me about, you know, Cash. And I always tell them I didn't really know him the best, you know. But as the times as I've been talking to him, I started to notice that that guy was just like me a little bit. Now, he had things that I didn't do now. But, you know... He was a human, he was a son, he was a father, you know, he was a regular guy. Just the internet picked him up and his life became big. Now, it's extra shit he might have did on the sidelines, but I ain't here to speak on that. To be honest with you, Cash has left a lot of things in the culture in case guys don't realize. Um, he actually introduced me to FBG Duck. A lot of people don't know that, you know. I got the FBG Duck interview because Cash linked that up. Uh, when I was doing phone interviews, I never met him at all. He linked that up for me because we used to speak on the phone throughout the phone interviews. So that's why I was saying, you know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would have liked that guy if you had a chance to see him behind that lens, you know. So a lot more things he brought to the drill culture. He actually told me that he was talking on the phone and, you know, his homies was recording this shit, you know, that the recording back in the day was big and putting shit on YouTube. And he said that whole conversation he had about being with Chief Keith, baby, I mean, Chief Keith mom and all kind of shit like that. That wasn't intentionally on purpose. That was caught. And he said it just went viral and kind of blew him up, you know, and I thought that was surprising. So when you go back to the video, you can see that he wasn't really playing it up to the camera, you know. Kind of looked like he might have got caught with that kind of footage. Now, then again, you know he could have been playing. I'm not here to say that. I'm going to tell you that. I thought that was crazy. Uh, it's a few more things that I think he brought to the culture. One thing that I thought was very eye-catching is when he told me that. When he was on the street a long time ago, it was love. It was unity. He used to go in the O. He used to be around. He used to go to McDonald's and kick it. He said he went to jail for like 30 some months. He said he got locked up. He was locked up for about 30 some months. Came home, that rap shit to the whole neighborhood to park. He told me the day he walked out of prison, he came home, he realized he couldn't go to certain neighborhoods, stores, and restaurants. It's crazy because when I spoke to him, it kind of felt like he was still in the war just because of who he was around. He kind of inherited this from the younger generation. Instead of the younger generation inheriting older generation beefs, I found that, you know, crazy, mystified when he told me how he inherited a lot of the young people beefs and shit like that, you know? A lot of people don't know that. Uh, I find that crazy, man. Clearly, you know, his, his spirit's living through the music. You got Kiso. He just dropped a new song. I don't know if it's out yet, but he got that cash spirit in it. So kind of seemed like a lot of people was rocking with him. You know, unfortunately, he lost his life due to gun violence. This is crazy because I believe Cash has the opportunity to be big. Look at his music videos. They were looking more like major videos. And some of his songs he was doing, he was stepping out of the drill lane with the Chris Rock, the Hemi, and joints like that. He was trying to make songs for the world. You know, street shit follow people sometimes, you know. Sad, sad incident. Um, I think the legend name going to stay on forever the same way King Von names lives on forever, you know. Um, I ain't really got a big story to tell you. I just wanted to tell you that because a lot of people ask me about Cash and I tell them, you know, I was gaining a relationship with him uh, through these interviews and shit like that. And he was one of the dudes that was understandable. He understood that Truth is going to be talking to people he don't like. Truth going to gain a relationship with people he don't like. Uh, but he knew that this was all business and, and Truth wasn't going to do no weird shit. So it was all good, you know. Um, I thought that was dope of him. He was one of the guys that used to call me and say, Truth, I ain't like that video you did. That, that shit went right. You know what I'm saying? And I can explain it to him. He'll be like, okay, I feel you. I just didn't like it. I'm not mad. I understand your job, but I just didn't feel that video. You know, and I thought that was dope to understand that, you know, I'm a reporter now. You know, I'm a reporter on your good and your bad. But <clears throat> Excuse me, but subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's the homie Truth Tell the Street Reporter. Blah, blah.